your new champion from the red corner, Corey McKenna! Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Rich Mitchell has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes and 6 seconds of round number 2, declaring your winner by way of rear naked choke in the red corner, Corey McKenna! Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this bout 30-27, 29-28, and 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Corey McKenna. Beginning her journey into martial arts with karate at 10 years old, and then moving on to train in MMA at the age of 13, and now being one of the most exciting prospects coming out of the UK, this is Corey McKenna's journey so far. Corey McKenna's first amateur MMA fight was in September of 2014 against Marissa Charalambos at British Challenge MMA 8, where Corey would defeat Charalambos in the third round with ground and pound. Over the course of the next two weeks, Corey would fight six more times, winning all six, concluding her amateur MMA career at 7-0 with four finishes. At this point, Corey had held two titles in two different divisions, alongside many titles outside of MMA. Corey said the move to pro seemed not only justified but necessary. Ten months after making the decision to move to pro, Corey would make her pro debut at Cade Royce 91 against 3-1 Maria Colonna. Corey asserted her dominance early in the fight, landing a flurry of strikes and getting a massive double leg takedown in the first minute of the round. This would be the f Corey's first time using elbows in a fight, and she utilised them really effectively. Cutting up her opponent on the ground from side control, Corey dominated round one and walked back to a corner smiling and firing at the crowd. However, Maria Colonna failed to answer the bell for the second round, and Corey won the fight and was now 1-0 in her pro career. Corey would next fight at Cade Royce 94 in Belgium, where she would come up against 3-0 strawweight Eva Dorte. The first two rounds were very close, with Dorte using her strength to try and control McKenna. However, Corey was able to assert her dominance in the third round and win a decision victory away from home to become 2-0 in her pro career. Next, Corey would fight the experienced Nicole Desegni, the future contender series prospect at Cage Warriors 97, where the two fought for three grueling rounds trading shots, with Corey utilising her ground game very well. However, two of the judges would score the fight for the Italian, which meant that Corey suffered her first loss in MMA. Speaking to Corey, she said that, I took it hard seeing as I'm so critical of myself, but channeled that energy into making myself into the fighter that I am today. After this fight, Corey would take seven months out of MMA competition to grow as a fighter, training largely in a team alpha male with UFC Hall of Famer Uriah Faber. Corey said to me that she's very lucky to have the opportunity to train with high level pros and is very grateful for all the extra work that Faber puts into her. Corey would bounce back at Cade Warriors 104 at Cardiff, where she would make sure to leave the judges out of the equation with a second round rear naked choke against undefeated Fanny Redman. Once Josh Palmer asked Corey what's next for her career, she wasted no time in asking to fight on the very next Cade Warriors card at Cade Warriors 105, and Cade Warriors delivered. Corey would fight the very next month in Colchester at Cade Warriors 105 against the Italian Guilla Cinello. In the first 10 seconds of the first round, Corey was taken down, but acted quickly by using butterfly hooks to elevate Cinello and reverse the position. This was the beginning of the end as Corey was able to unleash a barrage of ground and pound which forced Mark Goddard to end the fight just two minutes into the first round. Corey would now be booked to fight Greek Akeout at Cade Warriors 108, but the fight was pulled off the card the day before due to the Belgian missing weight. Corey would then be booked to fight Lankana Green at Cade Warriors 114. The event was cancelled due to the coronavirus. However, after 15 months out of MMA competition, Corey McKenna would be offered a fight on Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series against LFA strawway champion Vanessa Demopoulos. This would be a great opportunity for Corey to show her skills to a large platform and also Dana White and had the opportunity to fight for a UFC contract. The fight was a disciplined effort from Corey, defending many submission attempts and getting close to the finish of the fight in the third round. Dana White was impressed by Corey's performance and was awarded a UFC contract being the first Welsh female in the UFC and the fifth Welsh-born fighter to have a UFC contract. Corey is now booked to fight another exciting prospect, Kay Hansen, on November 14th, which will be the first step for Corey's career in the UFC. Kay Hansen is 7-3 and, and already had her first fight in the UFC, getting a third round submission over Jin Hu Frey. At just 21 years old, Corey has joined the UFC being the youngest Brit in the promotion 
and is definitely a prospect to watch out for. With a disciplined MMA lifestyle alongside world-class coaches and teammates, there is no limit on what Corey McKenna can achieve in MMA.